Hey man, are you recording in a home studio? A basement studio? Are you in your garage? Are you in an echoey space like this and you really want to get some professional sounding vocals recorded? What do you need? Do you need a eyeball? Do you need one of these shields? Or do you need something like the Isovox ISO solution? Let's check it out. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and today we're going to break down a few of these isolating solutions like the Chaotica eyeball that I got right here that you can just pop right over your microphone. We got a Vox shield. This is a Sterling Vox shield and we also have an ISO Vox ISO Vox solution with the ISO mic in it. Now this one is completely different. All three of these are actually very different. What we're going to do is actually record using all of these devices and see which one sounds the best. And I'm in a room that's completely untreated. There's no acoustic treatment in here whatsoever. Brand new room. I want to see what is going to get me the best sounding recordings in an environment like this so that y'all can get better, more professional recordings in your studio environment, no matter whether it's your bedroom, your basement, or garage, whatever it is, what solution do we need? Is it the Isovox? Is it the Chaotica Eyeball? Or one of these uh, type of um, shields, vocal shields that we can use? So first thing first, the reason that we need some type of isolation from our microphone is that we want to stop the room reflections from getting into our recordings. So when you speak in a room or you sing in a room, that sound goes out in all directions, not just into your microphone. Once it goes out in all directions, it bounces off the walls. And ideally, you want to have some type of acoustic treatment in that room, right, that can absorb those reflections and allow them to not make it back into the microphone. But when you have reflective hard surfaces in your recording room, you're going to get a lot of reflections, kind of like what y'all are hearing now. I'm sure it probably sounds a little bit annoying, but I have to do this in this room so that we get the best idea of what using one of these solutions sounds like. Now, I do want to put out a little bit of disclaimer right now that this video is sponsored by Isovox. So keep that in mind as you make your decisions, all right? But we are going to be able to, we're going to do real tests here. You're going to make the decision on which one you think is the solution for you, all right? So first thing first, I'm going to record. I got my Pro Tools rig set up over here. I'm going to record a, a, a vocal track into each one of these. I'm going to start off not using anything. I have the um, ECM 87 microphone just right here in the room. It doesn't have any shields on it at all. I'm going to start off my recording there and then I'm going to use the Chaotica eyeball. I'm going to use the shield and then we're going to try out the Isovox vocal solution and then we'll jump in and compare and contrast what we're hearing with all of these different solutions. All right, so let's check it out. Let's go ahead and get started for our first recording. All right, y'all, this is our first test. This is just a test. Had this been a real emergency, we'd really be recording. Matter of fact, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. All right, for this test, so that it's consistent, I'm going to spit my very first rap ever right into this microphone. I'm going to do the same thing in all the solutions. All right, so I'm going to give y'all like four bars. All right, here you go like this. I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that is the ECM 87 without any types of shields, any type of protection over it at all. Next, let's try out the Chaotica eyeball. So with the, the eyeball solution, you basically want to take off the little uh, pop filter on the front. And what I'm going to do is just slide my microphone in here. And with that sitting on there, then I'm going to put my pop filter back on. Need to angle this a little bit. All right. I don't need this other pop filter for now. Okay, so this is test number two using the Chaotica eyeball. I'm about to go ahead and spit my bars. Here we go. I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground. 
as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. All right. So that's test number two, using the chaotic eyeball in an untreated room. I'm going to take this off and set up my reflection shield next so we can see what that's going to do. Cool, I just got the reflection shield set up to the mic. We're gonna run another test right now. This is test number three with the ECM 87 using the reflection shield. Here go those bars. I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. All right, so that's the third test using a reflection shield. Next up, we're going to go ahead and use the Isovox solution. All right, so let's let me back this up out of here. If you see the Isovox, it comes complete with the microphone, the pop filter, and it's a all in one and competent solution. Unlike the other devices to where you just kind of sing in front of it, this one, you actually put your head in and close this lid up and then you're completely isolated from the room. And then not only does it stop those reflections from uh, getting back into the mic, but it actually stops those reflections from even getting into the room. It kills those reflections right at the source, all right? It's, so I'm gonna get in here and spit some bars. <laughs> night night y'all. Hey yo, I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. <laughs> all right, that's the Isovox solution. All right, so we just finished up our testing with first our control test by using a microphone completely naked in this reflective room. We tried out the Chaotica eyeball to see what type of isolation this gets us in this room. We also tried out a vocal shield to see what that will do in a scenario like this. And then we took it all the way to the Isovox, Isovox solution, all right, with the ISO mic inside of there. So now I'm going to stop the recording, go and listen back to these recordings in my studio and let's together see which one isolated the best and which scenarios we might want to use each one of these devices for. All right, child. So we just tested out the Isovox solution um, and also tested out using the Chaotica eyeball and a vocal shield all in this room untreated. So let's go now and listen to the results of those tests. We're gonna start off in the same order and then just kind of break down what scenarios might be best for each type of solution that we have here today, all right? So let's just start off with uh, the beginning first test. Matter of fact, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do, all right? For this test, so that it's consistent, I'm gonna spit my very first rap ever Right into this microphone. I'm gonna do the same thing in all the solutions. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all like four bars. All right, here you go like this. Wow, we can hear that there are a lot of reflections from the room coming right back into that recording. Let's go to the part where I actually start rapping. I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. <laughs> all right, so that is using a microphone in a untreated room without any acoustic treatment at all, right? So I definitely would not recommend that you record in that type of scenario at all. You want to do something in that room to minimize the reflections, whether that's treating the walls or putting some type of treatment around the mic. So let's continue and explore the other solutions that we have today. Here's our second test using the Chaotica eyeball. I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. All right, so that's test number two, using the Chaotica eyeball in an untreated room. I'm gonna take this off and set up my reflection shield next so we can see what that's gonna do. All right, right, let's and let's compare that back to the um, original sound. I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I... 
All right, so what we notice and with the Chaotica eyeball is that although it does offer more isolation, there's still a lot of room noise actually getting into the recording. Like it really did not minimize or eliminate the room noise totally at all, okay? Um, it, it made the sound warmer, also louder because it's more focused coming right into that um, capsule, but the room noise is also still there. So it'll be interesting to see what the other solutions offer us. So let's now go over to our third solution, which was the vocal shield. Let's take a listen to that. This is test number three with the ECM 87 using the reflection shield. Here go those bars. I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. The, if you notice, the reflection shield really didn't do too much different in this scenario. Um, when we're or it's just in such a reflective environment, it really did not uh, change up too much. Let's go ahead now and listen to the Isovox solution. Hey, yo, I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. <laughs> All right, that's the Isovox solution. Now, that is probably at least 90%, if not more, of the room reflections completely gone when you use the Isovox solution. Nothing else even compares. I thought that the Chaotica eyeball would really minimize this because it's like capsulating the entire mic, but you hear it for yourself how the Chaotica eyeball really just did not knock out as much of the room reflections as we thought it would. The shield is good if you're in a minimally treated rooms and I would say that the ISO, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Chaotica eyeball is going to be a good solution if you are in uh, like a bedroom scenario that is that does have some type of treatment. But if your room is very re reflective, like the room that I'm in now, it seems that the only cure, the only way to get a good clean sound is by completely immersing yourself with the isovox solution let's take a listen to this uh recording one more time so first i'm gonna play again this is completely dry right here we're gonna play the uh the, the raw vocal and then we're gonna listen to the isovox i may be small but that's not all if you bigger than me you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. <laughs> All right, and then let's hear that ISO box one more time, man. Hey, yo, I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the Crazy. ground. As I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. <laughs> All right, that's the ISO box solution. Yeah, those reflections in the room are just so uh, distracting from the focus that it, it, I can really hear my voice and hear the, the tonality and the inflections and emotion a lot clearer when I am recording using the ISO box. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. I really want to know what y'all think down in the comments of this video. Do you think that the ISO box is a little bit too big and too much? I don't know, compared, when you really look at the results of what it's doing, it might just be the solution that you need. Drop down in the comments and let me know which one of these are you rocking with, which one do you think sounds the best, and I'll catch y'all later. Be dope.